I run a research lab that is between two institutes, which are here the Max Planck of Psychiatry, as well as the Helmholtz Center in Munich. At the one end, we can do bioinformatics and artificial intelligence, but on the other side, we can do psychiatric genetics. And this helps us to be in between those institutes. The interesting part is in psychiatric genetics or understanding psychiatric diseases is that we cannot look into a living human and understand them. It's always that physicians are based on what the patient is reporting and then they can put a diagnosis on this patient. So we are trying to help physicians with developing biomarkers, with developing risk scores. So this is called then also personalized medicine and this is where it will go in the next years that we are more like can look really on your genes and can profile you and then can decide what is the best therapy. So we are looking at multiple genes. So when I'm talking about genes, it's um, 10 to 20 thousand genes that we are looking at. And each of the gene can interact with each other. So this is very complex if you interact 10,000 by 10,000. And then you think, okay, then there could be also the genetics. And for genetics, we are talking about 10 million different SNPs, which are also can interact. And then you can put a different layer and a layer on top. So this is where the data gets very complex. And this is when we talk about big data. But what we would like is then to narrow down it to either a specific profile or a specific biomarker, which is different in certain subgroups of patients. One research topic is that we are concentrating on the interaction between the immune system and depression. So depression itself is a very heterogeneous disease with multiple different uh, clinical phenotypes and immunological patterns. And this also makes clear that we need to interact with different fields and to understand the full picture, not just based on one single tissue or on one specific focus. The biomarker that we found, you can think of, it's not a marker that would say yes and no. It's a continuous measurement, kind of a profile, a risk profile, how we say it. And with this, you can, like, depending on how high it is, you are in a certain range of developing later on a psychiatric disorder. But it's not that we can say one or zero. This would be the optimal goal, but we are not there. But this is what I mean to assist later diagnose or assist a physician to diagnose, for example, depression. When you are working in the medical genomics group, it's very important that you have a multidisciplinary background and you are able to work with different disciplines so that you can communicate with computer scientists to understand their language. But you also need to understand the biology and need to talk to biologists and wet lab people. So this makes us really unique as we are in the middle between different disciplines and try to carry out the most efficient research.